Well, let's watch the busters. Up you go. Bye. <laughs> Troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Lit, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I check out today is a bouncy base. What I've actually done is it's not a no kill base like the other one that we did. If you've not seen that one already, we did one where we actually completed the mission, but we actually got zero kills in it. But I'm going to take you on a little tour. So, this is one of the places where I think the husks are going to come up from. The RNG on this map's really, really good, to be fair. Now, they can't get up this way because it's just a dead end and they'll be dead. Then, if you go up this way, what I've actually got is here. Now, I've got this little thing here just to push trap. So the launch will either bounce them up there or it'll push them off there to the death down below. Well, they might not die, but still. If they eventually do get around here, then what they're going to have to do, they've got two options once they get here. Now, they could go this way, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. In fact, let's just put another push one on there. We're using 82 traps. I can't remember what area we're in. I'll have to look at the level of the husks when they actually start swarming us. But they've got this here, which will bounce them across. And then these walls at the top, which will fling them down here. Now, this one should be enough to fling them this way. I'm hoping. If it is, you know what? Let's put another wall up there. Just because. And um, we'll put another push trap there. Perfect. And <laughs> this is such an overbuild. You would not need to build this much. But we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put the launcher on the floor just like this. And then what that'll hopefully do is fling the husks off over this way. So that should be pretty awesome. So they'll fling down there or down there. So that's that side kind of covered. I could do with upgrading that. I came onto this map with 5,000 metal, just so you know. So, <laughs> don't think this is like, you know, a material-friendly build, because it's not. Oh, look, we've got some coming around the other side. Anyway, anyway, before we sort them out, if we go up this side, I thought the husks might come up this way. I'm going to leave them other husks down. I can see them on the minimap. Look, so this is another place where I thought they might come from. So, they're going to come up this way. In fact, look, some are actually on the way now. So what I think they're going to do is run up here. I've just put that there to stop smashes. But they're going to run up here and then hopefully they're going to get pushed off the edge there by the launchers and push traps as well. Just have a quick look if that works. Hey, hey. perfect. There you go. Go again. <laughs> oh, look at this. Fully automated trap resistant, well, husk resistant base. I love it. Now this side's a sheer drop, so we should be okay. But should anybody get through, like Cowboy Bob here then they're going to get pushed off the side as well because there is a little ramp up here, which means they can get up top. So we should still be all right. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build another one here. And I'm going to do it like this. Now, this is a design. I was wa I watch a lot of Sly Gumby's streams, and this is a design that he uses. And I've only seen this today for the first time, but it's so awesome. What you actually do is you put the floor trap down here, look, like so. Put a push trap just to slow them down. These traps are just not leveled up whatsoever. <laughs> and look, he's trying to he's trying his best bless him to get up. But hopefully he's never going to. Because he's just gonna keep getting pushed off the edge. Now let's just put that there. Keep coming, Bob. Oh, he's round. Bob's round. <laughs> Alright, and the plan here is to have two different traps on. Alright, I'm trying to concentrate and build at the same time. Not me. Yay! Bye, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So what they actually do is they come around here, look, and they keep... I could even put another one there, but again, I say I don't want to overbuild. That's kind of been done already. <laughs> but here we are, look. Come on, Bob. Bye, Bob. <laughs> so look, even if Bob did get round, I hope he can. Come on, Bob. You got this, man. I'm just going to put another push there. The push traps on this side are just kind of to slow them down, and you could actually put maybe, you know, spike traps there or something. So look, Bob then goes over the top <laughs> and he still ends up falling and he's taking damage all the time that he's doing this as well, which is great. So that's pretty much the whole base. I think that's a full 360 that I've done for you there. So you've pretty much got everything as we need it. So I'm going to grab some blue glow, hopefully before this mission timer runs out because this has took me ages. And I can leave the base. I think this is fully automated now. I don't think... I don't think I'm going to be needed. So let's just go and grab some blue glow down there. Look, I only use Dyer in these missions just because he can get around quick. Do you know, he can actually get around the map like super fast, which is what we need. Okay, look, so from up here, that's how the base looks. So we've got the... In fact, I'll put something on with a scope that'd help. So over there, look, we've got this. So that's big, like disc there things gonna throw them off they can't really get up this way because the rng is great 
If they come up this way, which they can, they've got to get past this first, which they probably can. That's fine. They might get on that, but that's all right. I could put a bounce pad there, but I'm not going to do that. Then they're going to run up here, and they've got chances to get pushed off there. I need to put a floor trap there. And they've got chances there. Look, that's where I've got a little uh, dart trap on there, because I might need that there just for the damage. But otherwise, they're going to get pushed this way and then back off the map as well. So I'm hoping that this is going to be fully automated. Don't you just love doing that? <laughs> all right, let's just go and put that push trap down that we saw that we think we may have missed. Yeah, this one, look. So we've definitely missed one there. We'll just make it metal just because. Just because we've done the others like that. There we go. And then that should be enough to push them off. I don't even know how I'm gonna get inside. <laughs> how am I gonna get inside my base to actually do this? Okay, so in the name of science, I'm back. I got some more blue glow. <laughs> so let's actually start the objective now then. Now, we've increased the difficulty, so this could go horribly wrong. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Can we make, like, a little viewing stack thing up here? I'm just trying to kind of... I just want to, like, watch them, like, where they come from. Oh, look. So they're all coming up this way, as expected. Okay, we're going to view it from up here. Look, I can. we can see it working here. <laughs> so, look, this is all fully automated. Look at this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is science. Where are you blasting me from? No, bro. Just, just, just no. So these are only 77 husks. Don't get me wrong. But you've got to love the science behind it. <laughs> A complete overbuild of push traps. Why? Just because we can. Look, with the little shields there. What are you shielding from? Oh, we've got loads coming up this way as well, which is great. Let's wait for these guys. <laughs> So they're all just flinging off the sides. Look, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're a blaster or not. I've got another chance to get him there. He's gonna shoot me, isn't he? You're gonna shoot me, Bob. Don't do it. <laughs> oh yes. No. All right. Look. I didn't want a combat score, but it looks like we gotta. This is working so well. Stop. All right. We're just gonna take a few out. But this is absolutely. Old. I mean, I could just move. I didn't have to shoot those. I could just move away, and I think this is working exceptionally well. Oh, I can hear a smash of that. It's not good for anybody. Where is he? Right, let's just... Go. <laughs> I'm just watching us just fly up at the side here. Oh, he's there. Oh, my little, my little safety wall. All right, just do that up. Just do that up and then run back. I could just hide in here, couldn't I? This will stop smash. This will stop, like, the blasters from doing anything. All right, I was wrong. I was wrong. All right, I'm not in a good place for the blasters. <laughs> But I do love that they're getting just thrown all over. Let's watch the blasters. Up you go. Bye. <laughs> now, this is science at work. This is science at its absolute best. Oh, smasher. Go on. Push the smasher. Push him. Yes. <laughs> Already worth it. Oh, my God. Two smashers. Look at the little mosh pit we've got going off there. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a little window. <laughs> Front row seats. All right, this is going to need a bit of fixing, I think. That wall is, is not taking it well. And look, the smash is bashing at it there. Get off. Damn it. All right. Good. All right, I think that went well. So let's go and assess the damage then. Not bad. All right, I think we're all right. This wall came down, but okay. All right, that's fine. Stop it. I mean, look, these are all, these are all still going to get launched. Let's just come down here, look. Let's get near the viewing room. Bye-bye. But this little technique here I was watching from Sly Gumby. So what they actually do is, if you put the, the sloped roof up there or the stairs, whatever you want, when the launcher goes up, it actually flings them over the wall. And then this push trap here, which should be a better one than mine, because I'm sure you guys have got stronger traps than this, should be enough to do them. If you just push that, like put a push trap there. Another good one for this side would be a stun trap. My stun traps aren't leveled up. Look, I can't, I can't even afford to upgrade that wall. That's not cool. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it all down and I'm going to put brick there instead. Okay, so here we go then for wave two. Let's just do it. Right, where are they going to come from this time? I didn't even check this mission if there was a boss there or not. All right, so it looks like the majority this time coming from the same spot. Should we make a little window again? All right, let's just make a little viewing window so we can see. Whoa. All right, well, there's some people in there that aren't a fan. Damn it. 
That, my friends, is what you call a fail. All right, let's just move around. He can't get us up here. All right, so they're still going up. Someone's got through there, look. But he's already... <laughs> he literally just flew right by us. Okay, the, the lobbers are probably going to do us in here. So this could be where the, where the whole thing falls down. So can husks beat science? Husks versus science. That's the big thing here. This was all just a big overbuild on this side. <laughs> but I had to build it just because you don't know, right? You never know. And I can't build any of these back up. Oh, look, he's down there. Look, there's the lobber. But you know what? Throw him. I don't care. I don't care. You throw them up. All right. Okay, how's it getting on down here? All right. What are they all... Whoa, we got to take her. All right, he's just got to go through brute force. Because you're going to mess everything up. No takers in the science. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. I've not even got metal to fix this. All right, let's get back in the little viewing house if we can. Where was the viewing house? Here it is. All right, so look, they're still coming over. That side's working great. Just check it out down here. Yeah, look, they're still all trying to get up and failing miserably. I'm going to hide behind here. There you go. So how the hell did you get it? Oh, the lobbers. <laughs> and you know what's cool? I've still got a little roof section here. In case they do get in here. So they're not even going to last very long. All right. Wherever I stand, I'm going to get targeted. So we need to kind of move. Just to mix it up a little bit. I can't believe I've not fell off the map yet. <laughs> 1 minute 43. Come on, science. You got this. <laughs> All right. Blasters really want a piece of me right now. But you can't. All right. I think we're still all right. Every oh, we've got someone on this side. Oh, he's they're coming up the other way. All right. That's fine. But any like the skull throwers are the ones who are actually doing me in right now. Oh, he's going to be stuck. Let's help him out. There you go, fella. <laughs> all right. I should get the lobbers, but I'm not. Because this, this is base versus, <laughs> base versus husks. It's personal now. Maybe I could just watch from over here. Okay, here we are. So I've got, I've made a little viewing tower for myself. Which they're all coming up to. <laughs> no. Okay, so I've made a little viewing tower in just so we can watch. But look at how effective this is. The lobbers are doing it in. The vans took a little bit of damage, but I think that's the lobbers throwing them in over the top. Yeah, but there we go. That is how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> so that was an 88 base, fully automated. We did a bit of shooting, like, of the uh, of the takers and things like that. But I think we could have built that. God, that is so loud. But we could have done that slightly differently. Uh, do you know, I just covered the roof up, and then we wouldn't have even needed that, I don't think, if we'd have done that. But an insane amount of metal. There was just no need for it. But, you know, <laughs> in the name of science, combat score 693. Still one, though. You know, that's how it is. All right, then, guys, look, if you've got any dumb ideas or things that you want to put forward, any stupid science ideas, things that you know in game that, you know, that push the game a little bit, then let me know. I'm really enjoying this series at the minute, so hopefully we're going to keep it going. And it's just testing things out. And I'm still working through the Canny Valley story, which has been absolutely immense. I don't want to put any spoilers out there, anything like that. But I do just want to keep it, just want to say it's been absolutely immense. And I think that Save the World is growing so, so well at the moment. And do you know what? It's been steady. We've had a lot of peaks and troughs in our lifetime in Fortnite Save the World. Do not get me wrong. But I have really, really enjoyed enjoyed it and having the journey you know having you guys along for the journey has been even better but guys for now massive massive thanks for watching don't forget to hit that red button as you leave and hit that subscribe don't forget to press a like and i will catch you on the next video thanks for watching guys